We will not allow Big Sugar to stop Everglades restoration. When the health of our citizens is at risk, everybody loses. When you have toxic algal blooms and warning signs on the ramps, no human contact, you are out of business. My grandson had to go on an asthma machine when he, when he was just a baby because he couldn't breathe. In places, that algae is nine inches thick. Who wants to swim on the beach where you can't see your feet in the water? Whenever they burnt, we seen it, we smelled it, it was on our clothes. Kids were having asthma attacks, sinus problems. The Everglades, for example, are the only source of safe, clean drinking water for more than 8 million people. Our majestic Everglades are dying. I'm not even seeing a quarter of the wildlife out there. I'm not coming up against the sugar mill to make them close down, uh, take away jobs. I'm just asking that they be a good neighbor. And stand up for our right as Floridians. Is to unite uh, those of us who are fighting for the environment, those who are fighting to protect their communities together in one movement so that we can become the winners. To have a clean environment that does not poison us and our children. I don't want to leave this to my kids. When we are on one accord about something, it is powerful and a movement has to take its place when you're on one accord. <laughs>